All right, what's up, Algebra 1? Um, so we are going to do 2-4 um, solving equations with variables on both sides today. All right, um, so our objective is to solve equations with variables on both sides. Um, we're also going to try to identify equations that are, identi that are identities or have no solution. Okay. All right, so we have this first example here. Um, it's 5x plus 2 equals 2x plus 14. All right, so um, the first thing, um, so there's, I mean, there's a couple ways you can do this one. You can go really in either order. Um, but the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to subtract 2x first. You could also subtract um, 2 or 14 first, whichever one um, you prefer to do. But we won't get into that really right now. Um, so that one will cancel out. And that one will leave you with uh, 3x plus 2 equals 14. All right. Then at this point, subtract 2 from both sides. 3x equals 12. Um, and then if you divide both sides by 3, you'll be left with x equals 4. All right. Don't forget you can check this by plugging that 4 into the original equation. All right. So you're going to make sure that those are equal so 5 times 4 is 20 plus 2 and then 2 times 4 is 8 plus 14 20 plus 2 is 22 8 plus 14 is 22 so we are good x equals 4 all right and then um, I want you to go ahead and do 1a right here just to make sure you've got that down so you've got 7k plus 2 equals 4k minus 10 um, pause the video do that now all right, so then we have a word problem here. Um, so it takes a graphic designer one and a half hours to make one page of a website. Using new software, the designer could complete each page in 1.25 hours, but it takes eight hours to learn the software. How many web pages would the designer have to make in order to save time using the new software? All right, so. Um, we are going to want to come up with um, an equation here. All right, so they've come up with P equals the number of pages the designer needs to make. All right, so we're looking for where the two times are equal. So on one side you have 1.5 hours per page, which is represented by 1.5 times P. Okay, on the other side, um, the other um, expression, is 1.25 hours per page but then it also takes an extra eight hours all right um, so that's pretty simple setup now we just need to solve all right um, so the way they did it we can also do it this way they subtract 1.25 p from both sides all right and then um, you're left with 0.25p equals 8. All right, and then we're going to want to get um, p by itself. So we are going to divide um, by 0.25, or you can just multiply by 4 since 0.25 is 1 fourth. Okay, so we'll multiply both sides by 4. Those will cancel out, and you're left with P equals 32. All right, don't forget on this. Um, with a word problem, that doesn't really tell you anything. Um, you need to put it into context. All right, so 32 pages is what you're looking for here. All right, that's where they're going to be equal. Um, the question that it asked us was, how many web pages would the designer have to make in order to save time using the new software? So we're going to have to do more pages than 32 to save time, right? Because here you've saved no time. It's the same amount of time. So um, you need to do plus one page so that you can save time. All right, so really our solution is 33 pages, okay? So that's just kind of um, some of the things to look out for on the word problems, especially with these. Um, just make sure you know exactly what they're actually asking you. Don't just assume um, 
what it's asking you. Okay, so we're going to look at solving an equation with grouping symbols. Um, there are a couple different ways to do this, but this um, problem itself, there's really only one that makes sense. Okay, um, so we will go ahead, I'll write it out real quick. All right, so here's our equation. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and solve. The best way to do this one is to use distributive property. Okay, so you're going to do 2 times 5x and 2 times negative 1. So that's going to give you 10x minus 2 on this side. On the other side, you've got 3 times x, which is 3x, and then 3 times 11, which is 33. Okay, um, and now we just solve like normal. All right, so I went ahead and solved this out. Um, I did it pretty shorthand. I didn't write down my steps, um, but you should be left with x equals 5. Um, the steps are also over here if you want to see that um, more in depth. Um, so I want to go ahead and look at um, 3a just to kind of show you it. Okay, so um, I said I would show you 3a. I actually changed the problem slightly, um, and this is just sort of to show um, if you have something like this, there's a much quicker way of doing it, right? So if you just, if you were just um, with this to divide both sides by four, that's going to cancel all of that. So now you're just left with two y plus one equals y minus thirteen. Okay. Um, if this was the original problem, so if I was to do um, where we had two there instead of four. That's the problem that 3a actually was. There's a 4 there. Okay, so if we had this, I could still divide by 2 on both sides. All right, and then that'll cancel that. And then this will just become a 2. All right, so now you're left with 2 times 2y plus 1 equals y minus 13. Okay, then you can just distribute. Um, so you'd have... 4y plus 2 equals y minus 13. All right, so that ends up being an extra step, but you get smaller numbers. Um, so if you want to do it that way, that's fine with me as well. A lot of these, there's different ways to do them. Um, as long as you get to the, to the right place, you're good. And the way you know you get to the right place, remember, um, is to just check your work by plugging in your solution to the original equation. Okay, so now we're going to look at um, identities and equations with no solutions. All right, so um, an equation is true for every possible value of the variable is an identity. Um, I said that really weird. But basically, what an identity is, is any solution is true. Okay. Um, and I wrote that over here on the right just a second ago. So um, for an identity, all possible values are true. If it's no solution, um, this is where no values will make um, the equation true. So they give you good examples here. So an identity would be like this, where we have x plus 1 equals x plus 1. Okay, you could plug in anything for x, and this is always going to be true. So if you were to do, say, 5 for x, you'd get 6 on both sides, right? Because you'd have 5 plus 1 equals 5 plus 1. Okay. Um, yeah, so any value for x is going to be true for that. That makes it an identity. And then one that would be um, no solution is if kind of the same thing, x plus 1, but then it was equal to x plus 2. All right, there's nothing you can plug in for x here that would make, um, make that equation true. Okay, so just to show you a real quick example, um, this is 4a. Um, we have 10x plus 12 equals 2 times 5x plus 6. All right, so if we do the distributive property here, we have 2 times 5x, which is 10x, and then 2 times 6, which is positive 12. All right, um, now we're left with the same thing on both sides. Okay, um, whenever you're left with the same thing on both sides, you know that anything for x will make this true. Okay, that tells you that um, this is an identity. Okay, um, and I will also, if it's an identity, 
It's the same thing to me as all real numbers. Okay. Um, just a quick note, this little R with the extra line. Okay, so imagine it's an R and then that just extends out further. There's an extra line. All right, that's all that is. That means all real numbers. Okay. Um, so yeah, in identity, you can also say all real numbers because any real number uh, will make that solution true. Okay, and that is going to be it for this video lesson. So I will see you guys in class and we will talk a little bit more about this stuff.